There has long been many stereotypes about people who watch anime and the anime itself. It's become more and more prevalent as time has gone on and how anime has become way more popular. One thing that I, I always hear, especially from people who don't watch anime, is that anime is perverted. And I can't necessarily deny it. For example, in a movie or a TV show, if there's a romantic interest, right? And let's say the romantic interest runs into the main character. Usually it'll go along the lines of, okay, they knock into each other in the hallway. The guy picks up, you know, whatever the chick dropped, gives it to her, says, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. She gives him a smile and then, you know, maybe they go out to get coffee or go on a little dinner date later on. That's your casual romantic interest in a show or in a movie. In anime, it's, uh, well, it's the same exact setting. You run into each other, but the guy falls, and then all of a sudden, the chick just lands on his face with her double Ds just smacking him in the head and him nose bleeding. You literally cannot deny this. I don't know how many clips there is from different shows where they accidentally get into these perverted, weird scenarios. Just to prove how crazy it is, I was recently on Twitter. Yes, I know, the degenerate hub of all information everything on here is a problem okay everything from pornography hentai people spewing off their annoying political opinions that I just don't really care to hear but this is what I came across and I just want to show you guys this because I I just could not believe my ears when I listened to this and I watched this on Twitter <laughs> oh hi you my only time well, it was good up until you gave me the world's rudest awakening. Come on, your cute little sister is waking you up with love and affection. Be happier. Yeah, you're not spinning this to be anything but wrong. Now please get off me. I'm sorry, what was that I heard? Did you just tell your sister to help you get off? There you go putting words in my mouth. Fine, you're such a spoil sport. <laughs> Next time, we'll act like a tentacle monster and sit under your bed, waiting to grab your legs as you wake up. Switching to another hentai genre, huh? Now please get out of my room. But why? You pop a boner on me? You popped a boner on me? That's crazy. Even when we start off, we start off the video with this. You already know why the video got 12 million freaking views. This still image at the beginning is all you need to know. And you would think, oh yeah, that's weird. You know, it's, it's I guess it's kind of perverted, but the fact that they're siblings might be the big problem for me. I would think that people in the comment section would say, wow, this is outrageous, this is crazy. Mind you, I don't know the backstory to this. I don't, I have not watched the show, obviously. I don't know if they're actually siblings. It could be a joke, but I would not be surprised because anime does that. Looking at the comments, it's just my faith in humanity didn't get restored, but it is pretty funny. These have to, these, these are actually pretty freaking good. The first one being preparing myself to watch this. Great stuff. Good morning. Can I even put that on YouTube? What's this? An anime dub that doesn't force political BS in, take itself too seriously, yet is fairly accurate? Fairly accurate to what? To what? What is this accurate to? How does this relate to you in your real life? Please answer the question. How does this relate to you in your real life? Maybe it has to do with something else, but yeah, I do hate all the political bullcrap. I hate when they try to force that stuff. It's only the English dub too. It feels like a lot of the shows, like you can tell that's not the direction they're going, but then they just, they put in things that just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Thank you for reminding me why I'm subs only. We're really going to have this argument in the comment section, subs versus dubs. I literally went to an anime convention the other day and unlike most people I actually wear deodorant when I go to those there was this guy who was walking around with a vote sign or whatever subs versus dubs or whatever and I guess he was doing like a vote thing I thought it was kind of cool it was it, it's he was joking obviously making fun of it because people who actually argue about that stuff just watch what what you enjoy there are there are some animes that are just better in dub and some that are better in sub and I'm not gonna argue you know which are I'm just saying that genuinely is the truth the dubbing scene has definitely improved a lot. See, look, there's a compliment right off the bat. Yeah, that's nice. Wait, they say Onichan in English dub as well? I, d I honestly, I don't think they're supposed 
supposed to because it is it's Japanese words so I, I would think that they wouldn't do that but they did anyways it's really no surprise Twitter has always been a place that's had the most degenerate content you can find on the internet without it being completely like blacklisted from the entire internet so you can get some pretty crazy stuff on here so I wasn't actually too surprised it, but it seems like at this point the the idea that anime and the anime community is so perverted I gotta say somewhat is kind of true and this is not like a new phenomenon with anime it has always kind of been like this if you watch Naruto there was Master Jiraiya the crazy pervert crazy weirdo that that happens through the entire show up until he couldn't swim same thing with Dragon Ball Master Roshi probably arguably even worse complete pervert Dragon Ball is one of the most tame animes it, it's so incredibly tame compared to a lot of other shows it's it's relatively tame like you can put a kid in front of Dragon Ball Z and be completely fine even then they still have this character this play on a perverted character that says the most outlandish things I mean even shows like Chainsaw Man and Jujutsu Kaisen two of my favorite animes and mangas out right now top five both of them all Chainsaw Man not necessarily the main plot of the story but Denji for the most part of it is completely perverted I don't even think I need to explain that anyone who has even seen a glimpse of Chainsaw Man understands that and JJK there was quite literally an incest scene they didn't do anything, but it was probably gonna happen. The argument is, is if anime is perverted, what do you do about it? My answer to that is absolutely nothing because you know what? That's just a part of the anime culture. There's not much you can do about it. It's always gonna be prevalent. And I think that anime is always going to have that. I think it's up to you whether or not you think it's going to stop you from watching a show. I honestly don't ever find it too bad. I'm interested, interested in what you guys have to say. I honestly think it's always going to be a part of anime i don't see it necessarily as a problem and even as a christian like sometimes i'm like eh, i don't know i feel like i should balance the morals on here but i'm also at the same time realizing it's like it's a cartoon and that's what anime is it's essentially a cartoon it's an animation and i would assume none of the things in this anime or show is going to convince you to do bad things hopefully so I don't know, what are your guys' opinion? Do you guys think anime is too perverted? I think that there is a lot of perversion in anime as a whole, but I think there are those sweet spots in shows where it's not too much or to a point where, you know, you feel like you can't watch it or you can't have a kid watch it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. And uh... <laughs>